Who will win? The Mayans MC versus Sons of Anarchy Hospital shootout. Of course, guys, episode six in the books. People have been commenting their disbelief, their, uh, their <laughs> is hatred too strong of a word. Maybe we'll fire in hatred. But people can't believe that the Sons are getting attacked. Their former president, or president, predator. <laughs> what is this, Angel, for fucking the last episode? Um, Packer, the Mayans, have put a, a, a hit to kill on Packer. We cut off the head. Right, in what world, I mean, there's multiple feds going to be coming over the coming week, right? But let's, I just, I actually can't grasp it. It is like, 14 hours later, I've had barely any sleep, but I still can't grasp Santa Padre and Easy's decision. They ripped the head off the snake by killing Packer. A guy who's in hospital. Now, all these people commenting, right? Oh, a lot of people came in under him. Now, I'm not saying, like, people wouldn't be affected by Packer's death. Because they will be, like, Suns members, right? Because he is, I would say he's, like, a an iconic member of the club, so to speak. But at the end of the day, he's no longer a member. You know? Because by the sounds of it, he's fucking on the road out. Literally, terminally ill. He'll never probably wear a patch again. Would all this effort not be better used into, like, oh, I don't know, attacking San Bernardino's clubhouse, attacking Charmin? And, and, when, and when Easy points out, let's cut the head off the snake, surely the head off the snake's the mother char, the guy who gave the green fucking light, not the guy who's sitting in his hospital room waiting for the green light to die. No, I, I, don't, I don't get the logic. It's almost like they're throwing shit at the wall hoping it sticks with this season. It, like, see when this season started off, right? Episode 1. It was very prom. It was fucking great that episode. I really liked it, right? Then the next couple of episodes, it was like building up. There was like the tensions that were currently in the mines. And then it was like building up to the Suns War. The Suns then strike. Then it takes them the full episode to finally retaliate, which I have no problem with. But I feel like because the other previous couple of episodes were slow, because they did it a bit quicker. And now, they, they, they decide on Packer. They decide on killing Packer. I don't get it. Like, I honestly don't. People can try and spin it as many ways as they want about, oh, Packer, man, he's a, he's a figure they all look at, it would affect them very much. Would it not affect San Bernardino more if their current president and VP got wiped out rather than the guy who used to be president, like, oh, I don't know, three years ago? Like, come on. Like, I just can't, okay, could you imagine a situation in Suns like that? I just, I, I can't. Like, see when Clay at the end of season five is going to, um lay low in Belfast, or even when he goes to prison in season 6. See, see when the Suns were beefing with anyone, like the Chinese that they towards the end of season 6? Like, did the Chinese go, oh, no, we, we, we'll kill Clay, because he, he, he's, he, he's first nine, the former president, even though he's in jail, we'll kill him, that'll send a message to the Suns. Why not? Well, I mean, they didn't do that, no, they, they actually ran down. Sam Crow and fucking captured Happy and Fret, and, and then obviously Old Man Chung, as they put it, got put out, but the logic here is fucking idiotic. Like, they actually go into this much risk, go into a public building where there's going to be CCTV, there's going to be cameras, guns blazing. When they when they called it a suicide mission, it literally is. Because, like, there's going to be jail time in this. There has to be jail time involved here. Because they're not even wearing masks, guys. It's so stupid. I mean, I'm looking forward to the, the actual hospital stuff, but in terms of why they're going there, it is, like, going for the Arthur Packers stupid. And also, like... Seeing Sun, see when they killed that, um, what do you, the, the guy, Bozo, up at St. Thomas, who did the drive-by in see, episode one of season three. Fucking closed it and Tig went in there, blocked the cameras, went in with the caps, killed him, good night. Simple as that. You know, it wasn't that simple, but I mean, they didn't let their faces get spotted or anything. Here, these, Manny, Easy, and Angel are just rocking in to the hospital, guns blazing, in the elevators, where people get fucking pizza. Uh, anyway, though, my prediction is... The Mayans will not kill Packer. It will be a failed attempt. And even if they do kill him, like, I mean, Robert Patrick, right? And Packer's a pretty big cat. He was, he's in both shows, like, so he'll be a pretty big death and some major sons. <laughs> some major sons prison. Oh, wait, he's not a prison. He's just some terminally old guy. <laughs> Let's kill him. Um, but yeah, my money's on the Mayans losing this one and looking pretty weak, you know, because uh, why not? But I guess they do need to get a bit of offense in. They'll pro they'll, I don't think they'll kill Packer, but they'll probably drop a few San Bernardino guys. Um, with them. But anyway guys, leave your thoughts down below and uh, I, if you think this is stupid as well, comment or just comment whatever you want guys. Fog entertainment. We're here for the shits and giggles. And too many this season though have been shits, not many giggles. But until then, peace.